Hi YouTube and welcome back to Chops Garage and another video and another random buy that I've bought sight unseen. Now if you've seen any of my videos now you know that I've got a penchant for random Italians and down on their heel Italian cars. So here we have again a car that's been on my list to get for a while a 20 valve Fiat Coupe Turbo. So this is the quick one, 220 horsepower I think these are. Just turned up, I heard of it via a customer who said it was languishing in a car park in a local village. Um, it sat there after it failed in its MOT and as you'll see there's some signs in the MOT here. There's some bits and bobs need doing. So I had a little look at the MOT, had a look at how much work needed to be done and threw the chap a bid of £225 for it and he accepted. So I had to pay my friend £30 to get it transported here. So £255, we've got a Fiat Coupe Turbo. Now, obviously she's looking a bit sorry for herself. She's very faded in this blue, but I have had a little polish up on the corner here and she's coming up shiny. So should be able to do something with the paintwork. There's other bits and bobs that need replacing. Wing and air needs replacing there. For the MOT, it needs the welding. Need some tidying up here, obviously. Need some paint there. It needed some uh, lower wishbone, a suspension, and then some welding under the floor pan as well. So, she's obviously been sitting for a long time. She's got a lot of lichen and stuff on her. So you're gonna need a really good clean off. But this has to be the cheapest turbo coupe in the country, I would have thought, because it does run and drive. Inside, she looks very dirty. Covered in some mud there, I don't know what was going on there. Got filth all over the carpets here. Got the black leather rather than the poo brown leather that some of these came with, which is ideal. I reckon this leather will come up quite nicely if I give it a good uh, clean and then uh, give it some feed and some black balm. It will come up nicely. Back seats are in good nick. Again, it's just absolutely filthy. Absolutely filthy dirty. Everything's here, all the buttons seem to be here. It's going to need one hair leather clean, isn't it? So that's something we're going to have to get straight on to. Because I don't like working on them dirty. So, we do have an issue, can't get the bonnet open. Someone's obviously had the grill out to do that before. Um, my mate Stu did actually pop the bonnet for me, but I can't quite remember how he did it. Because <laughs> it was flat on battery. So, need to sort that out. Headlamps all faded, but we all know that they can be polished up easy enough. Right, let's see if there's enough battery in there still to start. Give it a go. My foot on wedge from underneath the pedal, my great clod off on. No, dead as a dodo. Dead as a dodo. So I need to get that bonnet up and get her uh, get the battery charged up on it. Now I did have it ran in earlier today when Stu did get the bonnet open and I left it sitting for about 20 minutes. It got up to half temp and then the fan kicked in and it didn't go over temperature at all. Um, oil pressure was good, it idled well. She's done 151,000 miles. I do have a big bag of service history here that I need to go through and see what servicing it's had. So I need to go through that and find out when the last um, cam belt was done because they're quite important on these. We've got the sunroof in this one. It's uh, nicely specced out. I've got a little bit of tat here where some of this somebody's put something on that's coming away. I don't know if I can't remember if that came on the Fiat stand or not. I don't think they had carbon fibre finish on them. And if they did, they put it on pretty poorly. So that needs tidying up a bit. Question with this one is whether I actually drive it around myself or not I might just give it a really good clean up do the MOT work and move it on to somebody else who wants it as a running project because as you know I still have things sitting around like the thesis over there that I need to crack on with and I still got my MGB GT inside needs sorting out so what's your thoughts on the 225 pound coupe what should we do with it Stu wants me to take the engine out and sell it to someone so they can turbo one of their alphas. I think that's a bit of sacrilege. I think what I'd like to do is machine polish this body up, give it a hell of a 
jet wash off first then machine polish the body up see where we are with that have another look at the list of MOT failures got some bits and bobs here like some paint coming off here paint white I, I think this is going to come all right so I think I might just be able to paint some isolated spots like this area down here and uh, have a look in really tidy and then just give that inside sorry for the wind noise um, give this inside a really good clean up like I say feed the leather and see how she looks I think she deserves another life what do you think let me know give us your comments and hit that subscribe button because the next video will be me buffing this and let's see how clean we can get her before we start deciding what work to do on her thanks a lot for watching see you later bonus footage I got a run in so I uh, managed to find out how to do the bonnet so we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see how she runs and drives once I find out where reverse is in these ones fortunately it's faded so I can't quite see where reverse is so I'm assuming it's gonna be up and back sorry top and no let's try there no there we go I got it eventually so as you can see she's running and I can get gears just to prove that it is a runner and driver yeah sorry I can't bother to cut footage together on it so <laughs> this is the uh, bonus footage bit afterwards so we have a little drive around the industrial estate here check that we can get all the gears Yeah, second, third, and we've got brakes. She's braking. That's good. We've got next to no fuel. I'll have to get some fuel in there. But yeah, she seems to go through the gears all right. Sounds like it's an auxiliary belt or something. It's a little bit. And we might have a blow on an exhaust, I think, as well, judging by a sort of grumble from the engine bay as we go along but all the kind of stuff you expect for this kind of price point give her a bit and see if we get any boost along here oh yes <laughs> we did get a big shove there old school turbo nothing 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 and then boost try it again along here Hit the turbo there. All the dials seem to be working. As I said, I had her running earlier for about 20 minutes. Uh, she got up to temp and the uh, fan kicked in. So it looks like we haven't got any sort of major issues with the engine other than a service. Like I say, maybe some uh, work on it. I think it's got, I think I did see a cracked exhaust manifold actually on the list of failures so that is probably where I'm getting that blow from I can get a manifold welded up or get a second hand one um, yeah so a running driving Fiat Coupe Turbo for £225 so let's park her up and this is the actual end of the video <laughs> So thanks again for watching, hit that subscribe button if you want to find out what we end up doing with her. Thanks a lot, bye.